You're the very most fun I've ever found And you're my friend You're especially nice to be around And you're my friend Hi, my name is Cricket What's yours? Pleased to meet ya. If you'll be my friend, I'll tell you all about myself. For instance, do you know why I'm always looking around? Because <laughs> I want to see everything that's going on. And you know why I talk all the time? Because <laughs> I got lots to say. Right now, I'd like to talk about some of my favorite things. I'll do better than that. I'll sing a song about my favorite things. Here goes. I've got a favorite ball. I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song. I sing, tra-la. I've got a favorite doll. I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. Favorite things can be old or new. Just as long as they're loved by you. I've got a favorite ball. I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song. I sing, tra la. I've got a favorite doll. I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. A book or a blanket or a floppy hat. My favorite things are all things like that. I've got a favorite ball. I bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra-la. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. I'll bet you'll never guess what two more of my favorite things are. I'll give you a hint, I wear them. Now take a guess. Did you guess yet? Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. The answer is my sneakers. <laughs> Do I love them or what? In fact, I love my sneakers so much, I'm going to tell you a story about them. While you're listening, you can make sure I'm all dressed to go to the park, because that's where this story happens. One day, I made the biggest peanut butter and bologna sandwich you ever saw and I packed it in my lunchbox and went to the park for a picnic. Soon as I got there, I took my socks and sneakers off because I like to feel the grass between my toes. Don't you? So anyway, I had lots of fun playing with my friends, but then it was time for lunch. And guess what? When I got back to my picnic blanket, I found the cutest little puppy. And picture this, that cute little puppy was chewing on one of my sneakers. Oh no, I said, please give me back my sneaker, little puppy. But that puppy wouldn't let go. Every time I tried to get near him, he ran away from me. First he ran around the jungle gym, then he ran behind a tree, and then I chased him right through the middle of a baseball game. But I couldn't catch him. I just didn't know what I was gonna do next. You can't get very far in just one sneaker, if you know what I mean. Then all of a sudden, I had the best idea. I opened my lunchbox, I took the bologna out of my sandwich, and I said, Here, puppy, puppy, look what I've got for you. Then I dropped the bologna right in front of him. Well, as soon as that silly old puppy saw the bologna, he let go of my sneaker. Can you believe it? <laughs> I don't think I'll ever take my sneakers off again. I might even sleep in them. <laughs> Just kidding, but I really do love them. Roses are red, my sneakers are pink. They're my favorite things in the world, I think. <laughs> hey, I made up a rhyme. I know, let's play a rhyming game. Rhyming words are words that sound alike. Cat and fat are rhyming words, so are bake and cake. Now here's how we play the game. I'll say a nursery rhyme, but I'm going to leave out the rhyming word. See if you can guess what it is. Here goes. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the... Did you say clock? If you did, you got it right. Clock rhymes with dock. Here's another one. 
Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candle. Did you say stick? Stick rhymes with quick. How about one more? Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the roof, but don't rain on... Did you say me? <laughs> I hope you did, because I wouldn't want you to get wet. Telling jokes is another way to have fun with words. You know about knock-knock jokes, don't you? Well, just listen, and I'll tell you what to do. When I say knock-knock, you say, who's there? Ready? Knock, knock. Now you say, who's there? Annie. Now you say, Annie who? Anybody home? <laughs> Get it? Anybody home? <laughs> Let's do another. Remember what to say now. Knock, knock. Harry. Hurry up and let me in. <laughs> hey, you're really good at this game. I just remembered another one. Ready? Knock, knock. Wanda. Wanda, hear another knock, knock joke? <laughs> you do? Well, I've got lots more, and I'll tell them to you sometime. But right now, it's time to sing again. Remember the song about my favorite things? Well, I'd like you to help me sing it. Listen carefully, and I'll tell you how. Start by pretending to bounce a ball. I've got a favorite ball. I bounce, bounce, bounce. Now when I sing tra-la, you sing with me. I've got a favorite song. I sing tra-la. Now pretend you're rocking a baby. I've got a favorite doll. I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. Now let's put it all together. Start by bouncing the ball. I've got a favorite ball. I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song. I sing, tra -la. I've got a favorite doll. I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. Favorite things can be old or new, just as long as there's love for you. I've got a favorite ball, I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra -la. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. One time, I went on a trip and I wanted to take a lot of my favorite things. I didn't want to forget any of them, so I played a game to help me remember. You can play it with me now. I'll say I went on a trip and took a ball. What did I take? And you'll say, a ball. Then I'll say, I went on a trip, took a ball and a balloon. What did I take? And you'll say, a ball and a balloon. Each time, I'll add one more thing to the list. See how many you can remember. Here goes. I went on a trip and took a ball. What did I take? I went on a trip and took a ball and a balloon. What did I take? I went on a trip and took a ball, a balloon, and a banana. What did I take? I went on a trip and took a ball, a balloon, a banana, and a bicycle. What did I take? <laughs> You're really good at this game. If you want, you can play it with your friends. Just take turns adding to the list and see if you can remember the whole thing. Good luck! My mom has some favorite things too, and one of them is a teapot. Would you like to pretend you're a teapot? <laughs> it's easy. I'll tell you how, and then we'll sing a teapot song. Put one hand on your hip, and let your elbow stick out to the side. That's the handle of the teapot. Now put your other arm straight out to the side. That's the spout where the tea comes out. When I sing, pour me out, you lean over to the side and pretend you're pouring the tea. All right, here we go. 
I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get a steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Everybody's got a favorite color. What's yours? I really like blue. Well, I'm going to sing a song about four different colors. And here's what I want you to do. When I sing, find something blue, you find something blue and touch it. When I sing, find something red, you touch something red. Do the same for the other colors. You're going to have to be pretty quick. So get ready, because here we go. Mary wore a dress and the dress was blue And that's how it all began Blue, blue, find something blue And touch it as quick as you can Hurry, touch something blue Mary wore a hat and the hat was red Mary never looked so grand Red, red, find something red And touch it as quick as you can Hurry up and touch something red. Mary wore a belt and the belt was green. And so did Mary's sister Anne. Green, green, find something green. And touch it as quick as you can. Quick, touch something green. Do it right now. Mary wore socks, bright yellow socks. And Mary got a yellow fan. Yellow, yellow, find something yellow. And touch it as quick as you can. This is the last one. Hurry, touch something yellow. I know another little girl whose favorite color is red. Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to pretend I'm Red Riding Hood. You can pretend too. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood's mother, <laughs> I mean my mother said, come here dear and take this cake to your grandma. But remember, don't stop in the woods, don't run and be sure to say good morning to your grandma when you get there. Don't worry mom, I said, I can take care of myself. So I put on my red cape and I picked up my basket I went through the woods to Grandma's house. But when I got about halfway there, who do you think I met? You guessed it, the big bad wolf. Good morning, Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Good morning, Mr. Wolf, I said. Where are you going, Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. To Grandma's house, Mr. Wolf, I said. Well, listen, Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. I've got a great idea. Why don't you take your grandma some flowers? Good idea, Mr. Wolf, I said. I better start picking them right away. Then the wolf said goodbye and went off into the forest. Well, was that old wolf dumb or what? I knew all the time he was going to go straight to grandma's house, so I took a shortcut and beat him to it. Sure enough, pretty soon there was a knock on grandma's door. I looked through the people, and who do you think I saw? You guessed it, the big bad wolf. But picture this, that silly old wolf was wearing a red cape just like mine. He was pretending to be me. Then the wolf knocked on the door again. Who's there? I said in Grandma's voice. It is I, I mean it is I, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. But Red Riding Hood, I said, what big ears you have. The better, I mean, the better to hear you with, said the wolf. But Red Riding Hood, I said, what big eyes you have. The better, I mean, the better to see you with, said the wolf. But Red Riding Hood, I said, what big hands you have. The better to catch you with, said the wolf. And I'm not Red Riding Hood. I'm the big bad wolf. And I'm not Grandma, I said. I'm Little Red Riding Hood, and I'm not going to let you in. So get out of here and go right back into the woods where you belong. Well, that poor old wolf was so surprised, he just turned right around and went straight home. And guess what? <laughs> I never saw old Mr. Wolf in those woods again. I sure am having fun. 
I'm so glad you're my friend. You're the very most fun I've ever found, and you're my friend. You're especially nice to be around, and you're my friend. I'm so happy I've got a pal to tell my feelings to. No one else means more to me than you. If you want, you can turn my tape over now. Or you can talk and I'll listen. But whatever you do, just remember I'll be talking to you.